Hi, Mark Diaz here for 2DAnimation101.com and in this lesson I will show all the tools you need to use to edit audio, okay? The first thing we need to learn is a little bit about all those tools up here, the tools inside Audacity. Okay, the first one is the cursor. I'm going to select it, ping, just click on it, and that allows me to move the cursor to anywhere I want. I can put it there and play. Okay. Right? Have you seen this man now? Okay. That's the cursor, the selection tool. I can, oh, of course, you can click and drag and select one clip or multiple clips across many tracks. Okay. And you can also use the develop tool. Just click on it and that allows you to add points and lower the volume, for example. I can click here, I add a point, and then I lower the volume here. And then, because now these two points are very close together, I can continue modifying the audio on this bar, right? Like this, to lower the volume. And now, now let me play it. I will choose the selection tool, go back here and play it. How about now? Have you seen this man now? You see, it lowered the volume. So I can go to this one and then edit. Oh, I want it a little bit lower, right? And then go back to selection and then play. How about now? Have you seen this man now? Okay, but it's a hassle to go oh, back and forth, changing tools. So. Well, actually, there's another one, the draw tool. You can draw frequencies, but that's too advanced. We won't be covering this. The next one is the zoom tool. The zoom tool is just, you can just click and drag. We learned a little bit about this in the zooming lesson. And we learned that you can have the multiple tool and use the right click to zoom out, right? Or hold right click and press left click and you zoom in, right? Or you can use Control 1 or Control 3 or Control 2, right? So that's the zoom tool. And you can also use the time shift tool. That means if I select it, I can take this track, I mean this clip, and I can move it around, right? Through multiple, well, for example, I this clip cannot fit there, so it can go there. Look, you see? It's bigger. So anyway, you can use one by one or you can use all four at the same time using this one, which is the multiple tool, the multi-tool. That means, for example, let me undo everything I've done. Right now, if I have my mouse in this area, the area inside the lighter gray, it will use the selection tool. Or if I have the mouse anywhere outside, well, actually, only when you have it inside that gray area, you select the develop tool. Look, I can click and I can select, right? But if I want to edit volume, I can just go to this area right here and I can start adding points, right? Now, careful, when you're using the develop tool to get out of that mode, right now I'm using the multi mode, the multi tool, but if I want to get from the develop mode, let, let me add a couple of points here, whoops, and now I want to go out, I have the mouse in this area, and it does, well, actually, let me add, it, add them again, in this area outside, and I still have the develop tool activated. To deactivate it, just click on the track. Book, and that deactivates it. And then I can undo. That means that, for example, if I go, I do this, you know, oops, that was too much. That was a mistake. I press Control C and it won't work. Boom, it doesn't work. You have to first deactivate develop by clicking on the track, tuck, and then Control Z. There you go. Okay? Now, what if I want to edit this sound? What if I want to add more space between the words? Let me play this section. How about now? 
Have you seen this man now? What if I want these lines? He says, what about now? How about now? I mean, how about now? Have you seen this man now? What if I want these lines to be heard later and put them around here? So I can, how about now? Then leave some space. Have you seen this man now, right? To do that, I can just have the cursor anywhere I want to insert a cut and I press Control I, boom, and that inserts a cut, you see? And if I want to select, I want to move this, right? I want to select this clip and move it to the right. I can go and select the time shifter tool or with the multi tool, I can press Control in my keyboard and just, you see, the cursor changes. I can move it around. Ah, now I can put it there and it will add a very long pause. How about now? Have you seen? Okay, now <laughs> she's going to talk. Seen um, this man no? now? So it doesn't work. But anyway, you know, this is a way to edit your audio. You can insert cut. I can put the cursor here, press control I, and then move things around. You see? And I can move them around very, very easily. Okay, you see? Let me put them together again. Now, if I want to join them, I can just select this area and press Control J. And that joins it. What if we have a little gap? Well, it will join them and add that gap. But it it will be all a clip. That just select that area, press Control J, boom, and now it's one clip with silence there. And I can move that clip around. Okay? Let me undo, 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 undo everything. And until I have it joined. I can just, ah, there you go. Now, what if I select this section and press Control I? Boom! It will create a cut in and out. And I can move that clip outside. Okay? Another thing you can do, let me go down to maybe this place to here to where I have some music I can select this section and cut I can cut like this control I or I can cut into a new track below that one to do that I just select this one and press control alt I you see that created a new track what if I have this section right here and press control alt I Boom, it will create on the at the bottom of all your project. I don't use that much. Uh, I don't use this command that much, but it's useful to know just in case you need it. Let me undo. And go back to my sound around here. Now, let me show you something interesting. You can trim audio. What if... This is a very long track and before you have a lot of noise and then you have the character acting and then after you have a lot of sound <laughs> because sometimes this happens, sometimes you leave the microphone on and oh my god it's on and then you turn it off. So in case that happens, you can just select this area for example, this little section and trim it. That means it will remove from here, it will remove that. And from here, it will remove. How? You can either select, have the area selected and press the trim. Or, uh, this is one way to trim. Okay, let me undo. Or you can also press Control T. And that does exactly the same thing. Okay? Now, of course, if I want to select a clip and delete it, I can just click on it. Oops, wait, sorry. I can just select it and press delete boom okay super easy control z control c i can also delete a section of a clip just select that and press delete now this is something challenging let's for example let's say i want to delete this section i press delete boom did you see what it was here it moved to the left what if i don't want that what if i only want to remove this part and leave this exactly where it is. If I just press delete, let me select this section, press delete, 
boom, I don't want that. What if I don't want it? Instead of pressing delete, I can press one other command is control K, which will do exactly the same, right? But let me undo, what if I press control alt K, boom. With control alt K, you remove without moving everything to the left, okay? So that's very useful. So if, for example, I don't want this little section, I can just press control alt K and it will leave everything in the same place. That's when you're using uh, the same clip. Of course, if you use, if you delete the whole clip, for example, all this clip, and just press delete, book, nothing will be changed. But if you're deleting one section of a clip, it will do that ripple effect. To avoid it, just press Control alt k okay? Now, right now, I have the preferences to have it like this, that if I delete, it won't change anything in the timeline, in the track. So, I think you probably have another behavior. You can go to uh, Edit, then Preferences, then go to Tracks, to the Tracks tab, and then I think, uh, I don't remember, I, I believe when you just install uh, Audacity, you have this box checked. Let me check it so I can explain. This is when you edit a clip, it will move other clips. Let me delete that. And if, for example, I delete this, that will move all the other clips to the left. Let me de uh, delete this part. Boom. It affects the whole track. So if I delete all this section, boom, it affects all tracks. I don't like that. Per personally, I prefer um, to only affect the clip I'm editing. And for that, you just go to Edit, go to Preferences, and select Editing a Clip. Uncheck this so editing a clip won't move other clips. Press OK. And now, edit deleting a clip doesn't affect anything else. Okay? Okay, so those are the tools and techniques needed to edit audio, to move things around, to cut, to remove parts of a sound. Now, in the next lesson, we will learn how to mix a whole scene from scratch. Okay? See you there. <laughs>